Touch ball, it's bouncing anyway. Kent just shrugs off Jack Martin, no problems. Kick the oh, half four. Oh, look at this. Oh, Garlett, he's got a panic. Will he go his own way or chip it in? He passes for Hogan and he's going to grab it. There may have been some other avenues, yeah. Jono. <laughs> yes, I think there was, I know. Definitely, he, had, he went to the one-on-one. -on -one. Look, it's worked out. It was a kick to advantage. Hogan, good enough to take the mark. He did have three other players streaming inside forward 50 by themselves, but it's worked out so far. Hogan needs to go back now and finish the job. For his first goal in league footy and Demons fans here today would be saying we'd like another four or five hundred after this. Yes. Mm. But well, no, with the boys capable. So here he is. It's been a long time coming for Melbourne fans. Jesse Hogan has kicked a goal and look at them come from everywhere. And then in the end, it was that play there from Ken. He's the one who broke the tackle, broke the zone open. And Garland had four options here. He ended up going to Hogan. In the end, turned out to be the right one. Just sets it up. Everyone's got to run at it. Hogan wants oh. it. Oh, what a picture for Demon fans. The number one Guernsey. The strong arms up in the air of Jesse Hogan. And now he can go back and have a shot in front of the adoring fans. They've called this wing on the members' side. They've named it for Melbourne home games after the great Robert Flower, who so sadly passed away last year after the season. And such an all-time club favourite. And it's got a bit of spirit about it today, this performance from the Dees, as Jesse Hogan comes in and puts it right through. How good is that, Dees? There it is, the Robert Flower wing. And they've done the great Chula proud today. And this is the mark by Jesse Hogan, slid in front of Zach Smith. You're right, it has been. It's been the hard work, and that's what set the standard for this Melbourne side. They outnumbered the contest. They spread better from the contest in the, the first half of the game to set up this. They've been challenged at times, but as Kingy mentioned, it's been the red time goals that have really helped this performance today deep in quarter. You've got Dawes who just saw their big contested mark, he's crash and bash and Hogan, well Hogan we know can do it all. It's a good mix isn't it? Oh, oh, that's, that's, 50. 50. that's 50. And Melbourne should have four goals before the Giants have kicked any late in the first quarter as Jesse Hogan rubs it in a little more. Jamar the other it goes the way of Aaron Vandenberg, Hogan's going to come late, and with oh. conviction, he's been hey, paid. It hit the ground, you can hear Ryan Griffin. <laughs> he clearly said it hit the ground. It was a bit of a scream too, wasn't it? This is the bonus of being such a big-bodied young man. When he hits bodies in the air, he doesn't get knocked off the ball at all, Jace, does he? He just keeps his body nice and strong, and that's why he's been able to take these big contested marks so far. Just looks mature, very, very early in his career. Looks like he mixed it with the big boys. He's kicked one, he missed another long shot. And what about that for Jesse Hogan? That's a double. Deep in the forward line, should get the next kick. Newton to Watts. He's got to mark this, Jack Watts, and he knows that he flies. Ooh. Couldn't take it in the air, but he did take it on the ground. Gives it to Hogan, and the D's are back in front. And Jack Watts will breathe a big sigh of relief. Bad mark by Rory Sloan that started it, even back before that. So a couple of fumbles, bad kicks, presenting opportunities for Melbourne, who did it pretty well, really. And Jesse Hogan was a lucky one on the end of it. Demons should score here. They need to make it a goal. Capitalised. Brayshaw was tackled at the last moment. Still it's open. And finally they're able to heave it through for a goal. And it's Hogan. Well, he showed good, uh, uh, good initiative there, Jesse Hogan. He just made it up as it happened. He had to sort of play that by ear as a scrubby kick. He was looking to bend down and pick it up. Then he thought... I've just got a sick and slipper, and a poor old Jay Kelly got caught one against two. He was always going to be in trouble. Really good chase here from Douglas on Brayshaw. It means it's a scuffed kick, but he was bending down for it and then thought, oh, it's in the right spot. I'll just tow it through. Good thinking from Jesse Hogan. Oh, to half four. So Melbourne doing well here. Awkward ball, Hooley. Kent's had a couple of really good plays. Kennedy Harris, Mr. Sitter a moment ago. Jones, strong, clever kick, played. And Hogan 
She's got a presence, Hogan, hasn't he? If, if Hogan plays a really good game, he's off to a great start, good one-on-one -on -one mark. On that occasion, that was just a really clever kick by Jones. But if he has a big game tonight, I know he's only three games into his career, but, boy, what a start on an all-Australian defender in Alex Rance. This could really elevate him to a massive year in his first year. He's had some issues with his kicking action maybe last week. Let's see if he can dob this. It's low. He's got it. This has been a sensational start by him. And Melbourne get away. Again. And then Mitchie quickly onto the boot to the pocket. Hogan launches himself and takes a beauty. Mark. Oh, he's going to be something if he's not already, eh? Well, that's what you love about him. He was never really going to mark that ball, but what he said is he said, I'm going to crash this pack, and he just he, he just flew at it. Well, you said Jonathan Brown and Nick Revolt at halftime. There was a bit of that there, wasn't there? Good a bit of Jonathan Brown in, in that mark, wasn't there? He just loves the contest. Well, as Richo said, that the disposal number might be high, but they've, what they've added up to is something very big tonight. And from the pocket, yes, he has. Well, he loves a big occasion already. We're looking at a bona fide star in the making here. Melbourne free kick right in front here. Wow. For prohibitive contact on Jesse Hogan. Hogan's more of a Zach Clark. Zach Clark? Yep. Yeah, that's inexcusable. It's a gift goal. Well, that's brought a chair from the Melbourne crowd. It's obviously head eye contact. So Jesse Hogan has kicked two goals a game. This is his fifth game, so he comes in, plumb in front, and gently caresses it through the middle. The Demons have a couple now. Best ball movement we've seen, I think, since about the first minute mark of the first quarter. And Hogan with a one-hander. Melbourne Hogan. fans, hey, Chris, Chris, Chris. you want to get Chris. out of your seat because that is what you want to see. Line. Slick ball Another. movement, young talent on display. And unfortunately, Richard, we just haven't seen enough of it. I can't remember seeing Hogan with a chance like that tonight. As deep as he is. Yeah, yeah. Deep, 20 metres out, got size on Rampy. You can see Rampy there, no hope. He's a big man. The ball wasn't kicked to his advantage either, Richard. No, he, he just, well. used, just used his strength and good reach there. Coming into tonight, he'd taken 13 contested marks for the year. Number one in the AFL. He would like a reward here. Convert the goal. He leans back on it. Two in a row for the Demons. Already on the scoreboard. 36 points. Look at Hogan set himself. And that gets you excited, Richo. The Melbourne fans who have stuck around 26,894, the official crowd. Well, you go away with just a little bit of something with uh, Jesse Hogan presenting and clunking one like that. That's well, when the ball's in the air... I looked down there and I saw Hogan coming at it and he had a head of steam up. He could really launch. Look at that. He, he judges the ball perfectly in the air. Just had that skip in his run-up you mentioned before, Richo. He stabbed at this one and he steered it through. Five in a row to Melbourne. Three in this quarter. Stevens bumped off it. Vince has got it. Sends it down to what's full forward. Garland, look out for him. Well, look out for Hogan. Back in the team. And he can really play. But already, he's a crowd favourite. And he comes to kickstart his side, and he dives. Straight through the middle. Demons get going. What he, what he has got, Hogan, is great lower body strength, so he can sort of, from the back position, he can just, just sort of lean a little bit, just his body weight, not pushing the back, just lean on the guy in front of him enough to just keep him under the footy. Jones on the left boot, out the back how, and further adrift, Garland, who was just about back himself for pace, decided to be unselfish. Left boot, perfect delivery for the number one man. As you look at Mitch Wallace, looks like he's trying to play that slightly defensive forward role on Lamumba, as Max has said, he hasn't got into the game yet, but I think they put a lot of time into the Bulldogs to make sure he He's not able to run out of there with any freedom. But that, that's great inside use, isn't it? Go back into the centre corridor. Got some chance of kicking the ball from out there, but this should be should be a conversion 20 metres out straight in front. Tali was caught from protecting the goals and Hogan. Left Hogan, went to goals. Ball went to Hogan. He's got his second.
few options. Pedersen is one over his head in between a couple of dogs. Well, almost bail. In fact, all bail. Quickly, he gave it off. Jones, a skipper from 40. Top of the square. Well, how much do you like this one? Jesse Hogan, out-muscled roughhead. And he'll go back and kick another. He's already got a couple of his name, Hogan. This for three. Wouldn't want to get stronger when he gets older, would he? Oh. <laughs> Isn't he a beauty? As a 20-year-old, he just out muscle. I mean, Ruffett's not the biggest, strongest defender, but just that ability to lean on him. We see what he did one-on-one -on -one to Rance a few weeks ago. That uh, I think if you can do that as a really young player, you've got a lot of a lot of things to come. In fairness to Ruffett, it was big. He threw out of the way in the square, and he's got three for the afternoon. 101 kilos at just 20 years of age. That happened before when they came down this side. They're forcing him well to the boundary, Melbourne. Again, Hogan the target. Oh. Just judges it well, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. He, he sees it off of the boot before his opponent does, so he gets in the right position and protects, his, protects the drop zone. Hogan, he'll kick from 45 metres out, tight angle, needs it to come back. It's low, it's very low. I think he's done it. It's good enough. He went to ground, Pedersen stayed on his feet, and he hooks it back to the top of the square. One-on-one -on -one situation, Hogan and Carlisle. Hogan almost, he's still going, though, off the ground. Oh. That'll do. Jesse with number two. What wish your team to do so far early in this game? The last five goals of the match after Howe kicked two in a row, and suddenly it's a 30-point lead. They're looking so dangerous, the Pies. How tumbles the ball forward. Well done, Hogan. Front spot. Bell career. 16 goals so far. Eight matches. Worst result is one straight. That was against the Dockers. This for his first this afternoon. Well done, Jesse Hogan. Demons get one after five in a row to the Pies. Plays on quickly to Bernie Vince. Vince gets leg. And he's going to get a free kick. He plays on. Gives it back to Jones. Jones spears it in towards the forward line. Excellent pass. Jesse Hogan will pick himself up and have a shot just 30 metres out, 45 degree angle. 17 goals for Jesse Hogan. In his first season, he veers away to the right, straightens up and tries to bring it back, and he does exactly that. First goal to the Demons. Oh, look, he's a, he's a, we know he's a star in the future, but it's great to be there the day that the star actually announces himself. <laughs> Lamomba's in trouble. He strikes a tackle. 55 out. Gives it to Jones. Spears a pass. Beautifully done. And once again, guess who's going to pick himself up? Jesse. Jesse Hogan. Well, here it goes. It's a pretty good uh, double act at the present time. Jones to Hogan. And I know that they'd all be uh, singing that at home, the Demon supporters and th those that are here. But he's getting off the chain too much, I'm sure, for Alan Richardson's liking, Nathan Jones. That's two inside 50s that Set. have set up two shots of goal. Well, him and Vernie Vince were the offenders last week of winning the ball. And already they've got, uh, Jones has got five, Vince has got four. Here's Hogan, directly in front, doesn't miss. He's got two, Melbourne's got two. All those players have got four and five possessions. As you said, Savage the most. Here's Hogan! goal in the quarter, their first. The Saints have kicked four, and that's three goals for Jesse Hogan, who kicked two early ones, and looked like he was going to have a field day. And he's added another before half-time. He just read the ball the best. You get it in there often enough, this kid will uh, return. And uh, isn't that fantastic to see from, from uh, a Melbourne perspective? There's the future. Brayshaw to Hogan. Does he remind you of any previous forward Jesse Hogan, Jerry? Well, they all remind you a little bit of somebody, but uh, I mean, what? there's a bit of Jonathan Brown in him. There's a bit of Wayne Carey. He's a big, tall, athletic mm. midfield forward. He could play in the midfield like Carey could or Brown could, but uh, he's very smart in that forward half. Six goals to two for the quarter. Jones right, so. sends them deep again. Hogan gets a run at it. <laughs> he's going to have to do it on his own, I think, down there, Jenna. <laughs> See a few stars of the future here today, I think. Hogan for his fourth. Keeping the D's in it here at Eddie Had. Right through the middle. Jones has got it in the middle. First one way, then the other. Can't get around Weller. Now he gets his kick, but Dempster was there. Couldn't complete the mark. Here's Jesse. Hogan. Hogan. He's done it again. Five goals to Jesse Hogan. And they're in 
front, Alistair Lynch. They're pretty happy too uh, at the moment. Just they've been able to get big numbers around the contest and cause those multiple uh, stoppages. And more importantly, when St Kilda have taken possession of the ball, they haven't been able to switch to the far side or the fat side and get into space that we saw in particular in that first 15 minutes of the second term. So at the moment, they're pretty happy the way things are going. Nathan Jones, importantly, getting back involved in the game as well. And that's why this bloke's uh, such a talent because he can win it in a pack and he can work it and win it on the ground, Bomber. Yeah, he's a very, a very good young player. Now, a lot of form. Haven't been troubled too much in the midfield with uh, injuries. Good takeaway by Garlett, though. Hogan's got it. And maybe the Ds can get one back here. And Garlett's just been pushed up to give a little bit of uh, run through the, the midfield. It's the two behinds tonight for Jesse Hogan. 45-degree angle. We're right behind him. He gets that one. And he gets one back for Melbourne, as I mentioned. Donald sidestep. He hits the hot spot. Hogan. So they're one man down now, the Bombers. They have the lead. And now they don't even have that. Melbourne still at Batty Plate. Well, I thought he played on. He chips it instead for Hogan. Just. Oh, that's great. As I said, the extra tall forward. He's kicked 24 goals, 10. His 13th game this season, and he's kicked a goal at least one in every game, and that continues. Don't do it again. Garlett with the intervention, and he was able to use Don yeah. Tyson, and finally they hit a target inside 50. That's the better use. 20 years of age, six marks and a goal last week. Already has one this week, and this looks good for a second. Robertson. He's had prior. Straight ahead, and he's gone. Yeah, well, he had prior, because what he did, he took the tackle on. And you take the tackle on, he took two steps, he got caught. And again, it's to full forward, and again, oh. Hogan in the frame. Oh, Lynchy, that uh, does a throwback from the 2000 era, just the power of Hogan. Three goals in a quarter. Jesse Hogan for the Ds. It'll do. Look at the numbers multiply. Demons find a way out the back. Now Dawes, straight back to full forward. Nice Hogan man. beautifully placed. Yeah. Had him where he wanted. Who are they going to pay that to? Yeah, Hogan. Yeah, I think he had first bite it and brought it down. So for four goals, and surely to steady the D ship now, Jesse Hogan, the 20-year-old, puts it through. Gray short, inside, Jones, the skipper, kick one at this end to start the game. It's got... Almost the lot. Dempster again. Last line, free kick going to Hogan. Alan Jakovic in his first 13 kicked 67. That's a record in his first 13. Hogan ambles in, makes a certainty of it. And the Demons back to within 13. It's just, it just feels like the top inch layer has a bit of moisture in it no. and the stops will cut through. She was challenging for Dugowie. Hogan, he knows he's full. Side that's lost five in a row, Collingwood. They haven't rocked up at the moment. Uh, Melbourne certainly have. I reckon they've got a bit of a sniff. They thought their silly chance today. This is a good kick by Hogan. Just steady, composed himself from 30 metres out, bent it around. But their pressure's fantastic at the moment. Collingwood are going 38% by foot early in this first quarter. Well, that wasn't a great selection of, of a target, was it? Where, as they were looking short to a definitely going to be covered target when the ball arrived. I passed him, instead choosing Garland, and now Vince, and Hogan. Yeah, there's another lead up, uh, Mark, that Moon's talked about earlier. Frost is just happy to trail in behind. Now, he needs to be aware of this because it's happened several times already. Man, under pressure, play your man. Especially if he's Jesse Hogan. A couple of stutter steps and then sorts it all out, bang. Hogan kicks his second. And Melbourne's lead is out to 16 points in a very promising opening term. Yeah, he's on, and he has got oh, 40 metres in the clear. Go, oh, big fella. Run it in, Gabba. <laughs> Gives oh, the hand all over to Tyson's at the top of the 50 on Grimes. his arms. He went for the leading Garland. His recovery was first class. High ball. Brown, Hogan, Hogan, Hogan! He's just a star. He's the most 
most contested marks in the comp. Great recovery there. And uh, it's too good. Let's have a look at this. But he gets a one-on-one -on -one route. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you get the turnover at half back. Defenders haven't got a chance to get back and flood. And to do that against Big Brownie, I mean, he's, 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 he's a mature body. Man. Yeah, Nathan Brown. So is Hogan. He's 100 kilos. Bang. Gee. A few nervous Collingwood supporters early in this third quarter. She's making a case for being the rising star, isn't he, Jesse Hogan? It's a brave move to keep going, and it's turned out quite nicely. Matt Jones for Hogan. He's had to go a long way afield to get his possessions, Jesse Hogan. Oh, yeah. We've seen a lot of encroaching over the mark this weekend. I'm glad the umpires are pulling players up. As we said, he's certainly been a revelation at the age of just 20, 32 goals for the season. You look back on some of the guns like Franklin Revolt, Patton, Boyd coming through. They've not been able to get anywhere near that amount of goals in their first season of football. Interesting run up, but a good kick. Straight at the target, behind the goals. Beautiful kick, Jesse Hogan. Biney doing his thing in the middle. Tyson squeezes the kick out okay. Hogan, nice little engagement. Great, great kick. Great. Oh, Paid the mark. Paid the mark. Yeah. Did he control it up? I thought he had first purchase on it. I thought Scott Thompson's uh, secondary spoil brought it to the ground, but umpire was in the best position. The thing that you like about Hogan is the way he squares himself up with yeah. the ball. Very hard for the defender to, to spoil the ball as well. He, he reaches out in front. Third for contested marks in the AFL. It's been a stunning start. Right through the middle. So two goals to Hogan and three goals to Dawes. It, it still remains an Achilles heel of North Melbourne, doesn't it? The, the power it, forwards. It does. Here's the mark. He pays it for that grab there. Yeah, he's had it enough. Probably a good purchase, yeah, isn't it? he did. He had it long enough. Garland was on hand, though, on the wing. They can send it in there again. Harms worked off it. A little bit of space. The bounce was perfect for Garland. He screwed it back to the square. Hogan, massive mismatch with yeah. Atley. He got a free kick. Hogan. Yeah, he definitely will. Well, nothing Atley can do. And you called it beautifully, Hutto. It was a mismatch. His body strength yeah. for a young man. I mean, it, it troubles the key defenders, but it's going to trouble anyone less than that. A hell of a lot. So he marks it out. He takes his time. He had a look at options. He's worked hard for this. Interesting to see what sort of kick he goes with, Spud. He looks like so straight drop conventional. Up. He's yeah, an old-fashioned footballer, yeah. <laughs> Jace. And this for his third goal. Oh, well done. Right through the middle. Just the tonic that he's needed at the start of the third. And it's his game on here at the MCG. Back to 13 points. They isolate and they see the fact that, I know it wasn't meant for, for Hogan, but this is where Dunn's kick should have went the first time. It was to Jesse Hogan one-on-one -on -one because... Only two things can happen, in my opinion, the way he does plays is either he marks the ball or the defender has to spoil it. And nothing Atlee could do there. It was a push in the back in the end in hope. Really good start from Melbourne. Arid kick, Mitchie. Neil Bullen. Left it for Dawes. Round the corner. Hogan. Oh, you oh. think he would have gobbled it up? Still might. He can't. Oh, he can. Of course he can. What strength. Four goals for Jesse Hogan. Ah, uh, look, it's... I think he must have watched Patrick Cripps play yesterday. He was Carlton's <laughs> best player. He had nine set of clearances, Cripps, and Hogan says, well, he might get the clearances, but I'll kick some sausage rolls. And that just happened with the strength here. He's playing on a veteran in Scotty Thompson, so he gets the ball. Thompson's got first gravity. Just his agility for a guy of his size, Jase. He knows, he knows a bit about the game, yeah, doesn't he? His lateral movement. He, he sensed that Scotty Thompson was bearing down on him, and just as soon as he grabbed the ball, he moved to his left, and all Thompson could do was fly it with his hands, and have a look at those disposals. 15 disposals, four marks, five marks, four goals. Normally so beautiful reading the ball in the air. A couple of runners streaming inside over the top to Harms. First score of the afternoon for the Demons was a minor one. It was from Harms in time. It's going to work out, I'd say. Garland over the top. Here they come. Hogan, he gets the D second. He's first. By Cross. 
the Mumba into the middle of the ground, so a little more adventurous now. Matt Jones over the top. Here's Brayshaw. Running in support is Mitchie. He sends it down long, long and flat. And Hogan, good mark. That's better. Yeah, no, they've lifted their pre the pretty intensity, whatever words we want to use for the pressure in the game. But from about uh, halfway through the second quarter, they had an enormous margin to make up, clearly, Melbourne. But from about halfway through the second quarter, they started to match the Bulldogs, and now they've started to match them on the on the scoreboard. Well, I guess when you say if they've got much going for them, Melbourne, they've got this young man going for them. He's been just brilliant. 37 goals now for the season. And he's got his second here. Well done. So they've got the opening two of the second half. So 10 goals, the last of them to the left of screen. The Dogs all five in this term and margin back to 74 points for the Western Bulldogs. That is the game high. They narrowed it to 42, the Demons, but it's been all the Dogs. Here's a chance for Jesse Hogan. He can go back and kick it his third. The stutter, the shuffle, and then the goal. Jesse's got three. They got hurt on rebound, but they still tried to score and it put them in good stead for this week, the game they played this weekend already. So I'd like to see Melbourne still try and score, go forward with some real pace, as you call, John. Here's the moment for Hogan. Bends it around the body, had a rare opportunity, and he makes it count. He's come up right up into the pressing up outside 50, gets onto this one. That's it. Very solid. Snap. That's a good snap of goal. It's 45 out. He's, He's such a high-class player. He's got such good skill. Cross. After that accusation, Garland thumps it. Hogan in a good spot. Hell. Wins himself a free. Well, we finally get a look down. We're watching his warm up this afternoon. Jesse Hogan with his routine and his his run up and. For those well, there's, there's, there's a fair bit, there's a fair bit in, the, in this run up. There's a few skips and hops, and there's a little bit happening. A, but that, it really does amaze me that you can't just straighten him up with a straight set run up with momentum through the footy. And so this is a big run up here. For those who love their cricket, recall Asif Masu from years ago. He gets the little hop, by kick, little skips right in there, shoulder and forward, left shoulder forward, worked. It's going to work anyway. You can take all that out and it will still work. <laughs> Hogan has two. A couple of direct attacks into the forward line. All of a sudden, Melbourne uh, within striking distance as Vince sends them up towards the 50-metre line once again. A big pack of flyers. Oh, Garland reads it beautifully off the pack. Has a bounce, runs into the open goal. Oh, oh, and oh, selfishly goes right across the face of goal and says, Jesse, this one's for you. I didn't expect that, Jesse Hogan, but... I think he's just trying to maybe give him a handful today to help with the rising star, <laughs> which oh, is oh. next week. <laughs> <laughs> that is just uh, the attack on the ball for a garlic. Just that's, yeah, what good. They, that's what you want to see, and that's what probably Melbourne really lacked, that leg speed forward of centre and just lace out to uh, Big Jess. Very good. So Hogan gets another opportunity to kick his first for the day. Just aim at that bullseye. And that's exactly what he does, and he makes no mistake. He gets his first. That really annoys you as a fullback when you just peel off your full forward a little bit because you think, oh, we're obviously going <laughs> to yeah, get the goal here, and then they just go short to your, your opponent. That is devastating. Number 249 sends it back from whence it came. Now they look through Kennedy Harris up towards full forward. Hogan! Max plays on and goes! Now Hogan, top of the goals, um, the forward 50, 40 metres out, charges towards that goal square. And a big 100 kilo body just coming through the pack there. Really good mark. Could have run into a lot of trouble. Just threw himself at the contest, and that's really strong grab and, and good goal. Is that an outstanding year for a... Outstanding yeah, year, Leach. That's what you want forward. to build your forward line around going forward. I'd be signing this guy on a 10-year deal to make sure he <laughs> never, ever leaves my front door. Townsend gave away the free kick. So frustration creeping in for the Giants. They go up the oh, 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 oh. Get around, Leachie. 
Well, that's, and again, just to go over it, that's why this guy is the rising star for mine for the year, because you can kick the ball long to him and taste contested grabs. He's got someone on him all the time. I think we're all convinced uh, where my vote's going. On, on your thoughts. The problem is I've got no say. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a big kick, uh, and it's a big moment because Melbourne could open up a match-winning lead here. They lead by 21 points at the moment. This to make it 27 from Jesse Hogan. And he has! Hogan gets his third. Melbourne have some hope. And they've opened up a 27-point lead at three-quarter time. The D's 13-10-88. The GWS Giants 9-7-61. We've got one big quarter left, so stay with us.